What's up, family? It's none other than your boy, Jay Gins, the father. As usual, remember to be positive, optimistic, keep positive people in your circle as those three things are key to ensuring positivity is invited into your future. What's up, family? How y'all feeling? I really just wanted to jump on here to say, um, first of all, if you're watching this, I love you, okay? Some of y'all might be like past family members, you know, some of y'all might be old friends, some of y'all might be um, people I knew through politics when I was into following Andrew Yang and all that stuff. But if you're watching us, I, wanna say, I just want to say I love you. I mean, some of y'all I might not love. There might be some of y'all that's just watching this because you don't like my ass and you like laughing at me. Like, look at him. He'll have a haircut. <laughs> like, because I'm not African-American, which I'm not African-American, by the way. So don't expect me to look like one. But, um, you know, um, or, 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 or act and carry myself like one. But look, I wanted to give a quick update. The leukemia thing, right? For those who don't know, I posted, I don't know, it was maybe a week ago or a couple of days ago, and I said that I was going to do a lecture on leukemia and just kind of go over leukemia, what it is, just so that everybody can, you know, kind of be familiar with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and honestly, I feel like that should be done with every disease. So first of all, if you're watching this, what I want y'all to do is let me know if there is a particular um, sickness or disease or anything. Honestly, to be truthful with you, it can be anything in the world. It can be anything at all that you might want to know. And I do a lecture on it. But for the sake of helping our people and healing us, I'll keep it to food, right? Um, food and health, anything related to the body, health, the world. You know, just comment that y'all want me to do a lecture on it and I'll do it. Um, it's just a little, sometimes it's a little tough for me to, because my lectures are really tedious. I go through a lot of information and I, I give a lot of information and I speak for a long time. But it gets irritating to do that and people don't really take in the information or they don't really care. Like, you know what I'm saying? As long as I could get maybe two or three people, honestly, one is okay, but if I get two, three, four people or so who take to the information and who are able to benefit from the information, then that, that matters enough for me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but I want to say that I appreciate, you know, I want to say that I love and appreciate anybody out there who loves and appreciates myself and my, you know, my family. Um, it's been a long road for me, like, you know, I came a long way in my life, I'm not who I'm not who I used to be. So the people who can still stomach me, you know what I'm saying? The people who who can still stomach hearing me, I have a lot of love and respect for y'all. Like honestly, just because I don't I'm you know, you get what I'm saying? I don't really know how to explain it. I just want y'all to know I love and appreciate y'all. I see y'all sometimes y'all, you know, some people they watch my stories. I can see who see my stories. So I see you watch my story or you might like my you know, you might like a post. And I appreciate that you're doing that. I just, I don't want nobody to feel like I don't have gratitude. I'm a very grateful, humble person. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I have a lot of gratitude for people who do things for me. Speaking, speaking of, you know, my faith carrier who just came in here, who's my aunt. My aunt has done quite a bit for me. You know what I'm saying? She's looked out for me on several occasions. There's been a lot of times that like I was, you know, I remember her helping giving me gas money one time years ago. Like just, just little things like I would stop by, she would help out. So like I said, all of those kind of things, I'm not in communication with my family, so I can't really tell a lot of them what I feel, but sometimes they watch my videos, they just don't talk to me. But I just want y'all to know I love and appreciate y'all, and I'm, I'm grateful for everybody. I want you to know that all of the information that y'all see me putting out, I put this information out not from a bad place. Like, I don't ever want somebody, like, I, like for instance, I put up a video earlier explaining what they do with fish and you know fish has cancerous cells and all meat causes cancer by the way just so that you know that's not up for debate you can get your favorite doctor and i'll crush your doctor because i know more than doctors but i'm just telling you all meat you know all meat causes cancer so that video that i put up earlier it's not at all coming from a bad place i'm not saying like oh people who eat meat bad listen i ate meat last week you know what I'm saying? Now, I stopped eating meat about a, about a year and a half, two years ago. So, so it's been about a year and a half, two years since I ate meat. However, there are times that I have urges, right? So I want to do this video. First of all, I should start a, start the live over and do another video just to show people I, I don't think I'm perfect. Because I think some people think I think I'm perfect or something. Like, like because I say, yo, we can't be eating this. Y'all got to stop eating this. That that mean, yeah, I don't do nothing wrong. I'm perfect. Like, no, nah, bro, that's not it at all. It's just... That I don't promote negativity and I don't promote us killing ourselves because that's what you're doing when you, you know, when you eat those things. So I'm not saying that you're a bad person if you eat it. I'm just saying somebody got to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Somebody got to say, I don't think it's fair that nobody telling you. I don't think it's fair if you go through your whole life eating meat and nobody ever tells you that meat has something in it called, called carcinogens, right? 
For those who don't know, and look, what I try to do, I try to every, listen, I tell people all the time, whenever I get on here, you got to expect to learn something. You ain't going to get on here and hear me talking about who twerking and who doing it. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I, I want to help my people. I care about black people. You know what I'm saying? I care about my people. This is what a, this is what, turn the fucking flash off. This is what a carcinogen is, right? It's a substance radio nuclei, right? This means it has radiation inside the nucleus of the cell, right? But this is cancer. This is, it, dan it damages genomes, right? What are genomes? Genomes are broken down by protein. What they tell you meat is protein, right? What is a virus? A virus is surrounded by protein, right? You can look it up. You can look up virology, study virology. Viruses are surrounded by protein. Viruses actually need protein to survive. This is actually why meat has so much cancer, cancer in it. Like they actually have to cut the cancer out of the meat before they give it to you. You know what I'm saying? This is the kind of stuff that we're not told. This is the kind of information that, that they'll never let get to you. So they gave a they gave a better description right here. Look. A substance capable of causing cancer in living tissue. Right? Carcinogen, that's what tumors are. Tumors tumors are groups of carcinogens grouped together causing lumps. That's what tumors are. You know, it's kind of like if you had a water hose and then you took the water hose and lumped it like this, that lump that comes with the water, that's a tumor. You know what I'm saying? But it's just cancerous cells. But like I said, all of this comes from me. You know what I'm saying? The way about, listen, a lot of people don't know that I'm I'm 40. You know, well, I'm not. First of all, I don't age. Let me tell you all this. A lot of y'all going to say I'm crazy and that's because you don't understand what I understand about life. But I don't age. But, you know, I'm 40 if you were counting my time. You're never going to be able to tell that though. Because I don't age, you know what I'm saying? And my body is always going to be in good condition because I don't hurt it. And as long as we can all do this, we can all do this together. So I want everybody to do this. I'm not, like, trying to think I'm better than nobody. I just remember when when I didn't know this stuff. Like, like a lot of the people look at me and they, they you know how, like, when you, when you, when you become, when you get on, you become, you say you rapping or something like that, you can't get support from your own city, but you can get support from ATL, California, stuff, because people don't want to support you when they know you. That's kind of how it is with this. Like, I'm putting out this information. I'm like, yo, 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 and won't nobody listen to me. But if you turned on the TV and the doctor was saying it or a white guy with a pseudo was saying it, you'd be like, oh, what is he saying, Fish? What? Oh, my God, I can't believe. You'll be telling your friends about, yo, do you know Fish? Brother? But when I say it, it's like... This nigga think he knows something. You know what I'm saying? Because we got this, we got this menta this crab mentality as black people where we just want to pull a nigga down. Or we just don't want a nigga think he better than you. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's a complex. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a traumatic psychosis. It's a form of psychosis that was put on us over time. This is what you would call reparate. I mean, uh, reparation. You don't fuck about no reparation. This is what you would call remnants of oppression, right? These are things. And when you say remnants, you mean things that are remaining after a process takes place. So remnants of oppression are things that are remaining after after oppression. You know what I'm saying? Black people was oppressed for years and slavery and butt fucked and all of that stuff. When that stuff happened, it left us in a point where we can't look at each other and respect each other. This is why our women don't respect our men. Women don't respect men. I mean, black women, black women. That's the only women that don't respect men, by the way, is black women, because black women are targeted. Black women, the only women that they say be independent. You ain't never in your life heard no white woman say independent. You about to hear that. You ain't about to hear no Russian woman. You ain't about to hear no China. You ain't never about to hear them say independent woman because an independent woman is a weak woman. And they know that because a woman needs a man. A king needs a queen. They need to be together. So the only group that they tell that dumb ass shit, don't, you don't need no man. You don't need no, all that stupid shit. They got Meg Thee Stallion and all these little dumb bitches they paying to mess up our minds. The, the only people they target that towards is black people. And that's because they don't want black people to uprise. And we're never going to uprise as long as we can't look each other in the eyes and love each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm a whole man. I can't even talk to my mother. My mother won't even speak to me. You know what I'm saying? You know what that... And I'm not even saying this from a place of hurt. My mother hasn't spoke to me in about six years, and I, I really could care less. But at this point, what I'm, well, not care less, but it, I'm, I'm over it. But what I'm saying is, look at the way the black community is. Look at look at this. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a father of five. You know what I'm saying? I have full custody of my kids and take care of them every day and do nothing but support my children. My oldest two different story right now going on, which I don't mind explaining. But what I'm saying is at the end of the day, I'm a good father. And here it is. I'm looked at as, oh, that nigga. <laughs> Niggas clicking off my page. <laughs> but let me let me have been, let me have been, you know what I'm saying, drug dealing, gang banging. Yeah, you know, like I got a lot of family members that's doing crazy shit like that. Everybody on their page. They put up a post, everybody liking it, you know what I'm saying? 
And, and it, it just goes to show you that we have become conditioned to love drama, negativity, and failure. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because when you try to be successful, you try to make it out like you trying to win, motherfuckers don't like that. They like, this nigga think he knows something. Fuck him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get off his live. Don't listen to what he's saying like he fucking knows something. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is what we have created. Our, well, we didn't do this. They did this to us. You know what I'm saying? And this is why I'm willing to help people. You know what I'm saying? And I want people to be aware of what's going on, right? So this is why I was doing this live. It's crazy that I didn't even get to what I wanted to do this live about because I went through this whole tangent, but it's because I want to make sure that y'all know me. Like a lot of people, you don't really know me. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? You know Gerald, right? And that sounds crazy to y'all because y'all don't listen to me because I be trying to teach y'all quantum physics and teach y'all what the soul is and how the universe works. But if you don't listen to that, then, then I'm just going to sound crazy to you. Anybody going to sound crazy if you don't listen to him? Like, you know what I'm saying? If you won't even listen to a nigga, like, it'd be one thing if you listen to me and you like, let me hear what he's talking about. What? Damn, okay. But niggas don't even listen. They'd be like, oh, what? He crazy. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like, why don't you develop a, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, like I'm saying, people know Gerald, you know what I'm saying? I occupy Gerald's body. But I'm a soul, you know what I'm saying? A being beyond Gerald. I outgrew Gerald. Gerald is just a being that was here, somebody child, you know what I'm saying? So what happens is a lot of people, they can't really put a finger on me. Like, they, they see me and they like, I know the nigga because I seen him, but who the fuck is this? He talking about quantum physics and he talking about blood cells and don't eat meat and being healthy. Who is this nigga? What is he talking about? Get him off my screen. And then they go watch Love and Hip Hop or some shit. But what I'm saying is this is the reason that the black community is not giving a fuck about. Because there's no reason to. Like, honestly, we really got to think about this, right? We got we got, we got, to be real with ourselves, right? Black people, every time something happens, I live in, listen, for those who don't know, I live in Latrobe. I don't mind telling where I live because I really don't give a fuck. I live in Baltimore City and Latrobe in the projects, you know what I'm saying? Where I live at, it was just gunshots, like like 30 gunshots, like a brrr, you know what I'm saying, not too long ago, right outside my house. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is the type of shit that happened. And this was between 13 and 14 year olds, you know what I'm saying? But, but, and when that type of shit happened, everybody want to go, oh my God, the world crazy. I can't believe this, blah, blah, blah. But then when I want to talk this real shit with you, like, okay, well, this is why this is happening. Then niggas want, man, he always want to talk that shit. Get off the line. Okay, well, you always going to be confused then. You always going to be confused as to why you 50, 60, alone, don't have nobody, family all torn apart, sick, diseases, about to die. You always going to be like that because you don't have time for real shit. Like, like when I try to sit here and talk real shit, I can't even get people to go live with me. Like, I had somebody that was asking me, like, well, why are you saying such and I was like, yo, can you go live with me so we could talk about it because people need to know about this stuff. See, I'm the type where I don't want nobody to think that I have a problem with somebody disagreeing or challenging what I'm saying. I actually want that because that lets me know you paying attention. You know what I'm saying? My thing is when you just don't even pay attention and you just dismiss shit. Like, like if I'm, t you know, like, like for instance, I did a whole lecture, four or five hours, okay? It's titled Food and Health Lecture that I did on my page, right? On my, on my YouTube, right? What's up, guys? Lecture, it's this lecture has so much information in it, right? I did that lecture and, and motherfuckers like, listen, this is the, this, 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 this is the lecture right here. For anybody who don't, who, listen, this right here, okay? It only got 86 views. And Pete, this, I was born in 86. I was born in 1986. <laughs> but look, that's how, you know what I'm saying? This is my page for anybody who want to go to my page. This is my YouTube page. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but like I said, I did this I did this whole lecture on food and health because I wanted to help my people. And, and, it, and it bothers me that this stuff is not being told to us. Like, it's not fair. Like, I don't like, it's like, if, imagine if you was in a class with a bunch of, you know, with a bunch of um kids and they picking on this other kid. But you know you'll slap the shit out of them if they try to pick on you. You know, you start to eventually want to, like, go beat the bully up. Like, yo, what you picking on them for? That's how I feel about people who just can't stop getting that McDonald's. But <sighs> they don't know what endorphins are. You know what I'm saying? These people don't understand what, you know, what your, what your body bodily fluids are. They don't understand what serotonin is. They don't understand what dopamine is. They don't understand the chemical reactions and molecular reactions and processes. You know what I'm saying? Metabolic processes that take place during your blood's processing of the protein. Like, they don't know none of that stuff. So, this is why you can just say anything to them. You can say something like, oh, yeah, you got to eat meat because you need your protein. And they just going to go, oh, I need protein. Okay. Because they don't know no better. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not fair. You're taking advantage of them. Don't nobody know what protein is? Like, honestly, if you ask your average person what protein is, what are they going to say? 
Oh, it's, you know, it's what you need from me. Protein is groups of amino acids, okay? They're also known as polypeptides, okay? And you know what they do? They control gene editing, right? So what that means, you, you ever heard the term, for anybody watching this, if you ever heard the term, you are what you eat, that comes from protein because protein goes through a metabolic process, okay, where it absorbs in the genes from what you ate. So if you eat, uh, uh, this is actually why they slaughter animals. Like, yeah, you have to really, if you ever seen a video, look up how they kill animals. They Y'all know they don't have to kill animals like that, right? See, see, this is where we start piecing together shit. This is where we start piecing, and this is why I want to have these conversations with people, but nobody will talk to me, because I talk about smart shit that we should be talking about, and not who slapped each other at the awards, or who's fucking who. But what I'm saying is, you know that they could euthanize these animals, right? Like the animals that they killed, the chickens, the the co I mean the um the cows, the the bisons, the you know whatever they killing the deer, right? They could euthanize these animals. They could literally just stick a needle in them, and the animals would die. And then they could just you know what I'm saying? But no, what do they do? They beat them, beat their heads to death. Some of some of them you can look up slaughterhouse. They literally just beat them in the face until they bloody and bleed out. You know why? Because when you beat somebody like that, your glands, you have these things called endocrine glands and exocrine glands. They emit these chemicals. Some chemicals are called adrenochrome, right? This adrenochrome that these animals emit brings you fear. Let me, let me, let me, see, see, people think I just be saying shit and like, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be playing, bro. Look, look at this. Adrenochrome is a chemical compound produced by the oxidation of adrenaline, right? Right? Potential cause of schizophrenia, right? Right? Now, the reason it causes schizophrenia, the reason it causes schizophrenia is because the blood, when you, when you have adrenochrome, the, the purpose of adrenochrome is rapid metabolic processes, right? So anytime you eat food, your body has something called cellular respiration, and it has metabolic processes where it processes the food that you're eating. What adrenochrome does is speed that shit up, like way faster. So that's why, like, when you're adrenaline, that's what adrenaline is. Adrenaline is your adrenochrome in your blood amplifying it. You know, that's what they're talking about when they say oxidation. This right here, oxidation, this is a process that takes place in your blood to absorb oxygen. This is what your blood plasma is about. This is what water, this is why your blood plasma is 80% water. You know what I'm saying? I did a whole lecture on it. I ain't gonna go into all of that though, but what I'm just saying is they beat these animals like they do, and then they rest the meat in the blood. So when you go to the store and you buy meat, it's sitting in blood, is it not? Ain't it? It's sitting in blood. And that blood that it's sitting in has adrenochrome in it. When you eat that, your body processes that. So what you want to, you know, so so that's that's so that's that's pretty much just what I be trying to, you know, be trying to get out there, trying to get out there to people, and it, it you know, and it causes a lot of different diseases. You know, <laughs> it's not like unknown either. Like the, the thing is, it's unknown, but only to black people. Like you know what I'm saying? Like listen, y'all gotta really understand. Like you know, to a degree, black people are like the laughing stock of the planet. Black people are the laughing stock of the planet. And that and that's really unfortunate. But it's because black people don't know anything about who they are. Black people don't know who they are. If you ask a black person who they are, what are they gonna say? African American. They're gonna tell you African American, which means what? Let me show y'all. What does African American mean? It means you're it means you're a descendant of who? This nigga who was a Roman general that went and killed everybody. This is where the term comes from. Went and killed all of our people, right? He was a Roman general from Rome. You can look him up. I did a lecture on that too. That was in Rome, Italy. This was around the same time as you, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna go into that. But in him, Amerigo Vespucci. This is the guy that they named America after, right? And let me just show you that they say it for anybody who don't believe it. This is, see, they told you that they named America after Christopher Columbus. Because school fucking lied to you like they lied to everybody else. Like they tell you that we were slaves and you was brought over on boats in Africa. And that sounds stupid as shit. The only reason you could believe that is because you was a child when they told you. And your parents, and you trusted your parents to tell you the truth and they told you too. But if you use your own brain, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You got hundreds of black people on a boat shitting, defecating everywhere. You got them there and you think they made it over. Come on now. That shit don't even make sense. You can't even do that today. So like I said, you know.
it was the story to tell us so that we wouldn't associate ourselves with America and we would think that the Indians are different people, but Indians are us. We're not going to go into all that though. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, all of this stuff, you know, it, it really bothers me to notice and to know that our people don't notice. And then we got shit that's happening right now, y'all. Y'all seen that? For anybody who, who's watching this, hopefully somebody may, makes it through this when y'all watch it back. But I posted a story where I was showing y'all they about to get rid of money. Like, I kept talking about this. Nobody really wants to pay me any attention. Or, well, let me not say pay me any attention. You can pay attention all you want. It's about whether or not you take it serious. Look it up yourself. Look up the World, the world Economic Forum. I wonder how many people actually looked up the World Economic Forum and what they're doing. But look, look this, is, this is what I, this is the lecture. These, these are all the videos that I did on my page, right? See this one right here? AI will replace your job. Stay aware, right? Two months ago, right? That video that I did, I took, because I be watching the World Economic Forum, which is a group underneath the United Nations that's discussing what they're doing to our country right now. This is why everything is crumbling around everybody and they don't know what's going on. See, what's going to happen, unfortunately, for black people, because black people, again, are the laughing stock of the planet. Because black people are the only people on the planet who don't know shit about who they are and they don't care. And if somebody try to talk to them about it, they don't care. Like They're they going to be like, whatever, I don't care. So that's why they're the laughing stock and everybody just kill them. Let the let the cops off. Who cares? It's black people. You know what I'm saying? It's like whatever. They don't care about themselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas will be like, yo, we gotta be better. We gotta stop black on black crime and then turn on a song like, yeah, tell that nigga, get it, kill that nigga, suck my dick, bitch. Like, like black people don't care. They joking. You know what I'm saying? It, now I don't believe that, but I'm just saying you gotta understand the perspective of white people. Why would they care about you? You don't even care about you. Like it doesn't even make sense. So when you think about things like, well, why are they poison our food? That's not fair. Why would they put? Why why would they give us meat if they know it causes cancer? Because they don't give a fuck about you. What are you talking about? You don't even care about you. Like, what are you talking about? Like, listen, the same people that would sit there and say, oh, no, that's crazy. They doing that. They, you know, and I wanted to expose something to y'all, too, because they doing something with these. Uh, hmm? they, they, they doing that to the plants and they, they about to do a lot. They about to attack people on another level. But there's a whole there's a whole reasoning behind why. They're attacking all of these farmers. Like, there's hundreds of farmers who've been dro driven out of business. God is. There's hundreds of farmers that have been driven out of business, right? Or they have been given tons of money to destroy all of their crops, right? Now, you don't have the ability to care about this kind of stuff if you're too busy in TV and too busy distracted. This is why... The Colosseum was created, right? The Roman Colosseum, right? Julius Caesar. See, see, people don't know shit, man. I can't even talk about all this shit. It's too much shit to talk about. But you gotta understand, this is why the Colosseum was created. Because when 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 dictators were going around killing people and doing fucked up stuff, and people started asking questions like, why is he doing that? They can't do that. They needed to distract people. They needed people to be distracted. So they created this coliseum where they had gladiators and they went in there and fought and killed each other and everybody yeah betting and everything and then nobody paid attention to what the dictator was doing so now you don't have the gladiators you have football you have tv you know what i'm saying you have you have sports you have basically you have sports you have tv you have music you have all of these things that they do you have work right all of these things that they do to distract you you have school right because school ain't necessary i don't even I don't know why people go to school. I mean, tell me something. Listen, it's people who who right now sitting in college got, you know, uh, bachelor degrees or whatever you want to call it. And they don't know half the shit I know. And they never will. Number one, because in order to learn, you have to teach yourself. Why are you depending on somebody else to teach you? First of all, like if you have a disease, like let's say you go to the doctor and your doctor tell you that you got, um, what's the disease, y'all? Let's think of them. They all just different parts of your circulatory system that the blood gets stopped up in. But let's say it gets stopped up. Let's say it gets stopped up right here. So that's lung cancer, right? Where your lungs are, right? Why do you need your doctor to teach you about lung cancer? Won't you go home and look up lung cancer? Won't you look up videos on lung cancer? Look up where it comes from. Talk to people who've had it. Like look up, you know what I'm saying? You can educate yourself. You don't need no doctor to teach you nothing. Everything, everything that they have in the school system, books, curriculum, it's available to you. What are you talking about? The same uh, college students that go to college, all they, you know how much money they pay for books. They pay hundreds, thousands of dollars for books that they got to get for the classes they go to. So why not skip paying the college 50000 and taking up all your time every day and your energy going to college and just get the books? 
You know why? Because people lazy and they don't like to read. What they, what they say about black people? If you want to hide something from a black person, what? Put it in a book, right? Nowadays, you don't even need a book. Because we at a time now where you got audio books, you got videos, you got... Got this! You got all this kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, being that you in, you're in a position... Oh, you heard me. Oh, okay. I was... I was I was trying to ask you for my charge. I was going to ask you was the kid uh, was one of them able to bring it to me real quick. But you know, um, I'm a pro I'm gonna need both of them. Actually, I need both of them. No, I just need one. That's cool. I just need one. But yeah, you know, um, but like I said, y'all, I got I got a lot of respect for the people who are able to stay in here and watch this information and watch and listen to what I'm talking about. If y'all got Roku, <coughs> if you got Roku, look up the channel Barrow. Okay, I'm a comment it. I'm a comment it. Just so that you, you know, I know some of y'all might have seen it already, but I'm just telling you because I want you to see it, okay? I want you to see it so that your eyes can open up because they show you so much on Barrel. Um, I've only seen, like, a little bit on there. I haven't really watched it, but I've seen people talk about what's on there. So I'm like, okay, they talk about some shit on there. They talk about transhumanism. You know what I'm saying? They talk about trafficking because they're trafficking all of these kids, by the way. And a lot of the people that's trafficking these kids are celebrities. Or politicians. They're the ones who actually human trafficking children. Like, this is what Trump was stopping. Like, you know, when he said drain the swamp. This is why the whole media outlet turned against Trump. Who you thought it was because they love black people and they don't like that he racist? Get the fuck out of here. All of them racist. When they, listen, when you see the news and when you see different outlets and, and the media, ABC and all of them start all getting on the same page and saying the same thing, that's what you call propaganda. And all of them got together and said, what? Fuck Trump, right? Now, I'm not, oh, you said you don't have that. All right, well, if you get it, if you can get it, if you can get it on Valley, watch watch Barrow. Look up the channel Barrow on Roku. It's a secret channel, so you can't, you don't have it by default. You got to search and type in Barrow, and it's a hidden channel that you can download. Once you download, because they don't want everybody to just have it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to, like, know somebody who, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like one of those situations, right? Y'all know how it is out here with money, right? How, like, some people don't have no money. They, like, I'm broke. And then some people got money. And it's just some people know the secrets. Like, some people know how to get money. Like, most people that got money never work. First of all, you don't work for money. That's not how money works. Like, any anytime you take an economic class, you understand. Like, I understand money. I just don't give a fuck about money. But, but I understand it. People who got money don't work. Because you make your money work for itself, right? So that's not how it works. That's how it is with knowledge and insight. Like if, if you don't want to learn and get out there and want to want to learn, then you just, you homeless. Like, you know what I'm saying? You intellectually homeless if you're not getting out here on your job and, and grinding for that bag, right? But that bag is intellect and knowledge. But to grind for this bag, you got to do stuff like sit and research. You got to do stuff like spend time watching and researching and looking up things and then checking behind those things and then checking the things that you check behind it. That's how you grind to get that intellect. I spent years doing that. I spent years doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can tell you off the top of my mind what quantum theory is. That's why I can explain to you off the top of my head what Ant-Man is about. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can explain to you the biology of the body. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can explain to you the entire, uh, you know, circulatory system. You know what I'm saying? I could tell you about all of the different, you know, y'all know we got something in our body called hella cells. You ever heard of hella cells, right? This actually comes from Henrietta Lacks. If you never heard of Henrietta Lacks, she was a black woman that had cervical cancer. And when she died, they, without her agreement, took her cancer cells and those cells were still alive. And they call them hella cells. H-E-L-A. Hella cells are se immortal cells that live on forever because we are immortal. There's no such thing as death. But I'm not going to go into that. Let's just stick with this. Y'all can look up Henrietta Lacks and hella cells. H-E-L-A. Right? Hella cells are cells that live forever. And these are cells that they actually use to engineer viruses. Because almost every, and I don't even want to say that word because they have all kind of, um, you know, algorithms that pick up stuff that you say. But just know that they use hella cells to create certain things that, that are put in foods and, you know, to hurt people. Because this is why I say we have to know who our enemy is. If you don't know who your enemy is, you can't protect yourself from them. That's a horrible position to be in. Especially if you're a parent. That's why I say if you're a parent and you have children, 
You cannot be playing games right now. You can't be talking about, why right, that's a conspiracy theory. I ain't about to look that up. I ain't looking at it. You crazy nigga, they is kidnapping and raping children at an all-time high right now. My daughter, she go to physical school. I would never in my life allow my child to go to physical school. That's insane. However, I had a child with an African-American, and she believes in this American system. She is Americanized. So she, you know what I'm saying? But anyway... My daughter tell me all the time about all the crazy shit that happened in school. Kids coming up missing them. They finding kids in the woods out back. Like, and you sending your child to this building with hundreds of strangers in it that you don't know. You don't know who they have. They people, you don't know none of that. You just send your child every day, just trusting with faith. Like, send them off. Like, any day your child could not come back home. Any day. And what you gonna say, how could y'all? That's not their child. They don't owe you nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You let your child. Here's the thing, right? Children are worth like $6.8 million or something, right? If you had $6.8 million in your pocket, would you leave it at a school? Right. If you was at the playground and you had a briefcase with $6.8 million in it, would you leave it sitting on a sliding board and go walk all the way over there to get on your phone to do selfies? No, because you want your money. So why your child? Why your, chi why your child not worth that? Mm. You see what I'm saying? But, but you, you see, this was all put in our head. We just, we just got to get past it, y'all. That's all. And all it takes is caring. The first step is caring. All you have to do is just care and want to be better. Once you do that, the rest will just fall into place, right? So, and, and the one thing, luckily, that I can guarantee you is if you stick by me, I'll get you there. You know what I'm saying? Because I could give you some ammunition. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to need ammunition to help you stop eating meat. Meat is not, it's not easy to get rid of. First of all, if you eat meat regularly, you have several parasites in you. You have really strong parasites in you that attach themselves to the epithelial walls of your stomach. And they send messages through your neurons to your brain, which are nerve cells, right? And they tell your brain to produce chemicals that make you want things. So this is why you just sit and get cravings because you got parasites inside you. So it's not going to be just easy to just do this. This is something that you're going to need to be motivated. You're going to need support. You know what I'm saying? And I could be that for you or whoever could be that for you. You could be it for yourself. But once you start caring, once you take that first step and start caring, then the rest will just fall into place. You know, information will start coming to you. Trust me. Like, first of all, don't trust nobody. Trust is a spell. You should never trust a person. I I why would somebody even want you to trust them? You know what I'm saying? Trust is a horrible thing. And love. Love is not what you think it is. You Trust and love are spells. These are both spells. Now, I'm not saying that they can't be good in any case, but they're both spells. Like, I'm not with my goddess because I love her. Love has nothing to do with it. Love is just, you know, love will blind you. Love is blind. What Eve say? Love is blind. And it'll take over your mind. What you think is love is truly not. You need to, right? So when it comes to trust, right? Like imagine if you got your car keys in your hand and somebody tell you, yo, you can just leave your car keys on the table. You don't got to put them in your pocket. And you like, nah, I'm cool. I'm going to put them in my pocket. I want to make sure they're safe. And, and they like, what? You don't trust me? Just put them on the table, bro. What, you, don't, you don't trust me? Like, why would somebody want you to trust them? Like, nigga, what is your intent? Nigga, what you mean? Why would you, why would you want me to... All trust in somebody does is make you weak and vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you want that? Like, when somebody be, oh, hey, can I um use your phone? Oh, I don't want to use, I ain't letting you use my phone. Oh, what, you don't trust me? Like, what? what? No, first of all, no, I don't trust you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love you, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? I care for you, but I don't trust you. Trust just means be blind, right? When somebody say trust, that just means don't look at nothing, just, just be blind. Trust is something that they want you to have in religion, like trust, faith, all that stupid shit. That's the shit they want you to have in religion because that way they could tell you anything. Like also in fucking pimping, like, you know what I'm saying? Trust is something that, that a pimp wants his whole to have in him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Faith, you know what I'm saying? Faith, that's what a pimp wants his whole to have in him. You know what I'm saying? Because that way you could tell that bitch anything. You know what I'm saying? Like when somebody trusts you, you could tell that bitch anything. You could say anything to them. When, you know what I'm saying? When somebody, and here's the thing about, so that's why I say trust. Don't worry about no trust. Now love, the reason I say love is horrible is because what does love do? You can't tell me right now that you wouldn't kill somebody over love. Shit, you'll kill yourself over love. Niggas will kill a mother over love. You know what I'm saying? So like, 
Love, I don't really, you know what I'm saying, be banging with love like that. I don't really bang with love like that um, or trust. But I do recommend that you have what you call um, understanding, right? So when you understand somebody, then you can say don't. So like if you're in a relationship with, shit with somebody, you shouldn't be like, oh, I know he ain't cheating on me because I trust him. No, nigga, that's crazy. Don't trust nobody. There's no such thing as trust. That's a that's a spell. What you want to say is, I know he not cheating on me because it doesn't make any logical sense for him to cheat on me based on this, this, and this. It doesn't make sense. Now, that makes sense. But when you just say, oh, I trust him. Nah, nigga, that don't sound right. Like, why you even, you know what I'm saying? And, when, and, if you, and if you truly have, you know, somebody's best interest at heart, why would you want them to trust you anyway? You know what I'm saying? So... That's all I'm going to say, y'all. I ain't going to keep on going. I just wanted to um, say that, get it get it over with. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, shout out to you, Trina Williams. I'm not sure who, who that is, but I appreciate the fact that you came into the live. Got nothing but positive vibes for anybody who's able to ingest the information that I talk about. Because I don't talk about shit that just anybody can process it. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate anybody who's willing to be like, let me see what this nigga talk about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but love and appreciation and value for you. I want our people back. You know what I'm saying? I want my I want my people to be back where they was. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want us to know who we are. You know, I'm tired of black people because we're not black, by the way. I listen. If y'all stick with me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna teach y'all a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I don't even want to say teach because that's condescending. I don't want nobody to think what nigga you think you know everything, nigga. You think you you know what I'm saying? You say your dad. You say my dad is your uncle. Oh goodness. <laughs> But look, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, all right, one love to you. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nobody, you know, think I'm being condescending. But I'm just saying, stick by me and I, you know, and I, and I rock with y'all. But we are not black. Black is a color, okay? Black is not a, black is just a color, okay? Nobody's black. You know what I'm saying? And um, you say you used to play with us when we was kids. Damn, for real? That's cool. I mean, listen, are you out in New York? You in New York, Trina? But, um, you know, damn, you threw me off. What was I talking about? God damn it. Hold up. Um, yeah, you, you completely threw me off. Nah, I don't remember. Nah, because it, it was a while ago. Like, you talking about out New York? Because I used to go, you know, I used to go to my grandma, you know, my father, mother house, my, my grandma Joyce. I used to go to her house for the summer. So I don't know if you mean up there, because I got, I got brothers and sisters up there. You know, my older sister, Kia, like, I, you know, I got brothers and sisters from New York. Um, and I don't know if that's what you, what you talking about. Um, or if you're talking about here, cause my father also, you know, my father Rolling Stone, you know what I'm saying? He dropped that, he dropped that thing and, and you get you pregnant and he dip on you, you know what I'm saying? That's what, I done had women hit me up like, um, your dad, such and such, do you know him? And I'm like, nah, shorty, like, get in line. My mother don't know him either, like, you know what I'm saying? Sorry for cutting you off. No, no, you good. You was talking about trusting her. Yeah, I don't remember specifically what I was saying. No, it's cool, it's cool. Let me, let me, let me, you know. I want to pick, I want, let me, let me ask you a question, Trina, if you don't mind me asking, do you consider yourself woke? Just, I'm just wondering, just yes, or, well, you don't got to answer yes or no, but just, do you consider yourself woke? <clears throat> I'm just curious. <clears throat> and while, and while you answering that, while I'm waiting to see what your answer is, I'm going to just, you know, try to, um, touch on anything else I wanted to touch on with anybody. I only got, listen, y'all, my battery about to die. I mean, I, yeah, I only got six. Only got six percent battery life. Matter of fact, I'm about to get off of here. But um, you said, "Do I consider myself what woke? Woke like W O K E, like 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 woke, meaning like you know like aware of stuff that's going on that other people are not. Like you know what I'm saying? Like like it's just it's just a term that people use when you know certain things that other people may not know. Like for instance, um." Cloning is real, right? Majority of the people that are around you are clones. A lot of these people are not real people. There's something called eugenics, which is cloning, right? If you know about that, then I would say you're woke, right? So if you're somebody who knows about cloning and you know what's going on, if you know that that whole jab that they just came out with, the certificate of vaccination ID and all that, if you're familiar with that, I would say you you woke. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're somebody who's aware of what's going on around them, but you sleep. You know, the reason we say somebody sleep is because, you know, when somebody's sleeping, you're trying to talk to them, they don't answer, they don't respond, they just sit there, like. So, if I'm talking to somebody about the jab, you know, all of this stuff that's going on around us, us not really being African-American and black and all that stupid shit, slavery, all them lies they told us in that dumbass school system they got, if I'm talking to you about that, and you just like, hmm. 
anyway, that would be sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not capable of processing what I'm saying because you, you're not all the way here. So my apologies for, fur for further explaining that if you felt like I was, you know, doing too much because I just was on a tangent and I wanted to explain if anybody else would watch it back. You said you think you, I think I'm woke to a lot. Okay, that's what's up. Well, nice to meet you because I'm woke to a whole lot. I've been woke now for probably about probably about three years, and I've been um, teaching and doing lectures and studying for hours a day, every day, for probably about a little bit over a year. So I'm very well versed in a lot of this stuff, and I put nothing but my, my time and energy into trying to get this information out to my people, because there's nobody else to really give it to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the hood, in the streets, in the city, in the urban environments, wherever you want to call it, ghettos, whatever, there's nobody who has, like, some of the type of insight that I've come into. And I and it's not because, like, they dumb enough or like that. It's just because it's not set up for them to. Because I've come into contact with it, and I know how I did, and that they never would. Like, even me, myself, five years ago, would have never been able to conceive some of the things that I do now. And I know because the way things are set up is for you not to. But, look, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here, Trina. If you want, if you want DM me, right? Well, DM me, send me a message, and what I want to do is I would like to, you know, make sure that you're aware of when I go on another live, and I want to just ask you if there's anything that you would like for me to talk about or anything that you're aware of that's woke so we can talk about it, and if you want to jump on the live, that's cool. If you want to invite people, if you want to share it, whatever, that's cool, but just I would ask that you help me get this information out to people. Number one, the diet, because people are not going to be able to function right up here until they get their diet right. Until, until you start eating right, you ain't going to be able to be right up here. It's not set up for you to be. That's not the way biology works or biochemistry, which is why we need to talk about this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I need people to ask me questions like, why do you think, why are you saying we can't eat this? Well, explain to me what happened. I need you give me, I need you make me explain myself so that I can show you I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But if nobody asks, they just disregard it. Like, whatever. You know? So anyway, sending positive vibe to you, Trina. Um, nothing but love for you. Everybody else, anybody who watched this video, remember to be positive, optimistic, keep positive people in your circle as those three things are key to ensuring the positivity is invited into your future. And I'm going to um, catch y'all tomorrow, all right? Try to catch the live if you can. All right, one love. <laughs>